Hi, I um, wanted to share a little something with everybody because there's so we get knocked for a loop in life and it it's devastating. And we sometimes wonder if some of the mistakes we've made in life that we can only see in hindsight, if that was a waste of time. Uh, did I miss the boat? Did I miss the mark? Uh, will I ever recover from this? And a lot of time, it's only after we come through the grief of the loss of that relationship, the loss of that job, whatever the disappointment is, that we look back and we can tell in hindsight that, man, whew, dodge the bullet. Okay. That that was one of the best things that could have happened to me because that altered my course so that now I have this is much better than that was. Now, when in a lot of the a lot of you that I'm talking to right now are in the middle of that dynamic, and you don't want to hear this. I get that. But hear, hear this if you hear nothing else. Destiny cannot deny you. Destiny cannot deny you. Why? It's etched in eternal stone. It existed before you were born or formed in your mother's womb, okay? And because it comes out of the heart of an eternal and immutable God, destiny is what it is, and it will always be that. Now, what happens is life twists us out of everything we need to be to reach that destiny. We get a blow here, childhood abuse there, abusive relationship here, any kind of trauma or abuse will throw us off because then it knocks us off that path of purpose that leads us to our destiny. But here's the good news. Because that destiny is etched an eternal stone, it hasn't moved. It hasn't moved. It'll go nowhere. It exists in eternal stone, as I said. So that means that all we have to do is adjust our GPS. When you get in the car, you turn on your GPS. The first thing it wants, turn on your location. And when you turn on your location, that tells it where you are right now. Now that it knows where you are now, then what do you do? You program it to the address or the location that you want it to take you to. And remember that any time that you get off course or take a different turn that it wants you to take, it doesn't stop you in your tracks. What does it do? It redirects you to where you need to go based on where you are, wrong turn or not. Well, life is like that. I call GPS your goals, your purpose, and your strategy. So quickly, know what your goals are. Have your goals tied to an immutable purpose. Know what your purpose is. And then uh, the strategies are always about proactively, meaning before it happens, having a game plan for any kind of glitches or roadblocks along the way. So you want to always keep your focus on your goals. Have your goals tied to your purpose. Have your purpose tied to uh, knowing how you're going to overcome any roadblocks along the way. And once you set your GPS, you can always readjust your positioning and your perspective based on that. Once you come through the initial blows of the sudden change or the disappointment or whatever, it could be you're not getting a job that you really wanted. You might have dodged the bullet. Maybe God has something better for you down the line. Maybe that's just something you don't even want to do. Now, sometimes we do look back and we can see, oh, my goodness, I wanted that job. Look what happened over there. That company went out of business and fired up everybody. Oh, my goodness, that company is not a good place to work. It's got a bad culture. You never see some of that, but sometimes you're blessed to, but you cannot base your goals, your purpose on whether or not you ever see why you were redirected. See, you look at life as a path. It's a path of purpose. And when you're born, you come here with a purpose. You come here with everything you need to accomplish that purpose. Your natural bent, your natural abilities, your natural talents, the things you do as easily as breathing and everybody gets excited about. You're talking about what? <laughs> I'm doing me. Okay. But what happens is trauma can crowd that out. I'll tell you, my sister told me the other day, Linda, you need to get back to sewing. I used to love to sew. Tedious mess it was, and it would be frustrating sometimes, but I loved to sew. I used to love to play the guitar. 
I used to love to write, okay? Write music, poetry. And she told me I need to get back to that because what has happened is all of the trauma I've been through in life, I just put that by the wayside. That's unimportant. But she has a point. I need to put my hands back into those things that I enjoy doing and I do pretty well with my hands. And I would encourage you, think back to what did you want to do when you when you were a kid? What is it in your heart that you know that you wanted to do? You wanted to be one day. What happened to those dreams? What kind of creative things do you see have gotten shut down as a result of some trauma you went through? I'm going to encourage you to return to that because all of that is along your path of purpose. And when we get knocked off that path by things that happened in our life, the trauma, the abuse, whatever it was, then we jump up, brush off our clothes and just keep on stepping. We're going to be in this survival mode, but we don't recognize that we're walking in the wrong direction. We need to be on that path of purpose because that's where every resource you need to accomplish your purpose in life exists. It's like a big cloud that's hanging over a certain aspect of that path that's ready, ready to rain all your resources on you, everything you need. So that's why I always say that you, who you truly are is the key to your reaching your purpose and your destiny. And we have to fight back. We, we are survivors from the moment of the first blow the first abuse. We are survivors, okay? But now what I want us to do, I want us to move into thriving after the trauma. You don't have to just exist. You don't have to just survive. What we can do is we can thrive. And part of that thriving is working through the process of healing that helps us to clear up our vision and see where we are on our path of purpose and to focus on the things that we can control in that regard. So that the more we focus on where we have control, call that your sphere of control, like a circle in your circle of control, the, the more you focus there, the greater influence you have on everything else around you. So I'm hoping this was helpful to you today. Remember your GPS, your goals, your purpose, and your strategies. And always remember that your greatest power exists in the truth of who you are. Know that truth.